Welcome back to Theme Journals. I am April. All right, so today I am doing a video on some more of the Happy Meal from Erica. This is um, a vintage Hershey's recipe box. Let's see if I can. Yeah, there we go. So you can see inside. It's got all sorts of different. Um, recipes and baking tips. Very cool. All right. Yeah, and here, look at the little barker. <laughs> AKA my sweet little mass bandit. Well, when he puts his mind to being sweet anyway. I got two hardback books. One's a Looks like maybe a vegan <laughs> book. I'll have to check that out since I'm vegan. Oh, both of them look like they're huh, interesting. I'll have to check those books out before I tear them apart. <laughs> All right, now I've got fabric. Of course, I've got fabric. <laughs> All right, so this is a beautiful modern print. This print is um, has flowers. It's very pretty. Then we got red polka dots. And this one looks to be stars. So that'll be interesting. All right. Then this is a really pale lavender blank or pale lavender. That's the best I can describe it. This is dark purple. I know you probably can't see it very well, but anyway, it is exactly that. All right, now looks like we've got Valentine paper. Um, not just paper, but it's um, ornament hooks, tissue paper, along with some Valentine bags. All right. All right. Ooh, look at how pretty this paper is. Oh, wow. Oh, look at that. It's different colors. Or maybe just two colors. No, it's got more than that. Silver. Green. I'm going to stand of it. Oh, that's beautiful paper, Erica. Thank you. All right. So, um, now this is cardstock. Let me see if I can do a flip through for you. So, it, it has plain colors, not any decorated colors. That's all right. All right. Oh, we got some usable pieces in here and then some ugly paper. That's all right. Then we've, it looks like cardstock, um, black, just black cardstock. got here. Mm. Got some Christmas. Oh. oh, look at this. Christmas cards with green coming, um, Christmas trees on them. And I've got that as a fabric. 
but they're little trucks instead of cars. Haha, <laughs> that's cute. And it looks like we've got some wreath rings. All right, we've got white and blue striped fabric, uh, navy blue fabric. Then we've got flower fabric with white background, green leaves. And then, oh, look at that. We've got Spider-Man here, man. Oh, wow. Spider-Man fabric. All right. So that is the fabric from this bag. Um, let me see if I can't clear my desk so I can show you a few things on the, on the desk that I've been working on and tell you what happened. I think I told you that my ink ran out on my, in my last video. Yeah, I think I did. So what I thought I'd try is using, since I need more ink for this, I thought I would put, be able to have enough money to put in my Amazon. Hmm. Yeah, I should have known I wouldn't have any money left today for the Amazon thing. That's just how it's worked out for six months. Looks like we're adding the seventh month to it. So what I've decided I'm going to try is to water down this, this ground espresso. It's really quite darker by stamping off the stamp onto a piece of paper and um, seeing if it won't be a slightly lighter color. I have scraps of fabric I can practice on here for that. So I'll grab a piece of, of extra fabric. And what I'll do is I have a stamp off piece of paper. I haven't used it in a while. As you can see, I stamped off on my little mummy, Mum's the Word Journal. Huh, that's weird. I wonder where these drops came from. Anyway. So I guess you get to see with me if this is going to stamp off right. So I'm putting it in the Grand Espresso. I put some here like that then come here and see if it's lighter mm. well I got a little bit off on it but that's just because I I think that all of the stamp went here yeah All right, what I need to do now is compare it to one of the journals that, um, hang on. part of the problem is, is that my stand is in the other room. Yeah, here's what it looks like. Here we go. And I'm trying to hold this so you can see it. Yeah, there is a distinct difference. It doesn't look like stamping off is going to work. Uh, because this is what happened when I, my last book I was trying to stamp on, the ink, the vintage photo, even after saturating it with a bunch of water, it's not being picked up. Although, let's try this. There is some on, there is vintage photo on here. 
let's see if we water it down if we'll we'll experiment with this side let's see if i can't stamp it off and the purple comes off because if it does then the vent uh, well it came off but it looks like a blob instead of um so that's not going to work either yeah, it just came off as a blob of purple. And it's no longer on my thing. So that means that any vintage photo here will come off, come off as a blob and not ink either. I don't know what to do. Well, I guess I'm going to have to uh, put in for that grant. I know that I can put in for a business grant and see if I can't get that business grant tomorrow or tonight. Um, that I know I can apply for and have it a grant and see if I can't get that grant because that's the only way I can see moving forward because I can't even afford to finish my Mother's Day journal right now. That's That's the rock and the hard place I'm up against. I have no money and I can't finish my Mother's Day journal. Not really. All right, well, I tried the experiments. You saw that and it doesn't really work. Um, I thought maybe I could stamp this off and still have enough left over for the for it to look decent on the fabric. Oh, mind you, it looks really nice on the fabric. It's just not the color I need. It's too dark. All right. Well, there you have it, folks. Uh, if you like my um, channel, please like, share, subscribe, and ring the notification bell. I'll try to come up with something to do between now and then so that um, I could have a content video for you. Otherwise, I've got one more bag from Erica, and then I guess I have I won't be making any videos for a while because I have to come up with this money. I don't know how to do it. So anyway, I'll talk to you all later. Bye.